Hello everyone and welcome back to my home kitchen. For today I'd like to introduce and prepare a very special fish for you and it's called a Dover sole. The Dover sole is very much a prized fish and sought after and it's commonly found in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean. It's a very firm and meaty fish. It's got a very subtle, sweet, delicate flavour. In Europe this is commonly cooked a la meunier, which means miller's wife. So it's normally lightly coated or dredged in plain flour and it's pan fried with quite a lot of butter and finished with normally lemon and sometimes capers. So instead of the main seasoning today being salt, I'm also going to season it with soy sauce at the end. And this makes a perfect accompaniment to a bowl of rice. And this fish is sometimes known as the Rolls Royce of the sea. It really is one of my favorite fish. And as always, don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed it, and to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, let's crack on. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to remove the skin from the top side of the fish. I've already scaled the bottom. The underside of the fish is very leathery. The scales are quite coarse. So I've removed that in the sink, giving it a little rinse. So the first thing you want to do is stick finger where the gills are and just lightly push your finger around to the other side like so you can see my finger there I'll do it this way actually you might be able to see better you can see my finger there and you can push out onto the other side like so and from there we can start removing the skin from the, the head So, it's got the eyeballs there that popped out. Like so. Now that we've removed the skin from the head, we can just start peeling away the skin, firstly from the sides, and then with a kitchen towel or a J cloth, we can start taking off the skin from the center of the fish. Just work your finger down the sides, and this, this should come off quite easily, like so. Like so. Same with the other side. Just work your finger down the sides. So, and so with a J cloth or a kitchen towel like I've got, just grab hold of your skin and then gently with your hand push down and pull on the skin at the same time. Like so. Keep pulling away until you get to the end. Let's just pull down. So commonly in Europe, the chef will trim the, the fins on the side here. There's a lot of decent meat there and texture and flavor. So I'm not going to trim these off. Same with the head. Sometimes you'll find it headless, but I find there's a lot of decent meat around the head and in the cheek area especially. Lightly season the fish with salt, then coat the fish liberally and evenly in plain flour that's been put through a sieve. Then lightly pat the fish to remove any lumps or excess flour. Into a pan on a medium heat, add a glug of cooking oil. The oil will help stop the fish from sticking to the pan. Then add a generous amount of unsalted butter. Using unsalted butter as opposed to salted will help the fish to cook at a higher frying temperature. This will help seal the delicate flavours of the doughy sole and ensure that they don't leach out onto the pan. Next, carefully place your fish into the pan. The next few steps are completely optional. Into a frying pan on a high heat, 
Pour in a glug of cooking oil and add some chopped garlic. Fry off the garlic until lightly browned. Next, place some brown shimeji into the pan. Shimeji mushrooms are commonly eaten in Japan and are native to East Asia and Northern Europe. Next, add to the pan a good handful of samphire. Samphire is a salty sea vegetable that is abundant on shorelines. These have been parboiled and rinsed before frying. Season lightly with salt and black pepper. After around 2 to 3 minutes of cooking, turn over the Dover sole. The following step is paramount to adding the rich brown buttery flavour to the Dover sole. Tilt the pan enough so that the butter flows to one side of the pan, but it's also important to keep the pan in contact with the flame to avoid loss of heat. Then, with a spoon, continuously baste the fish with the butter. Place the pan fried mushrooms and samphire onto a plate. Then after 2-3 to three minutes of cooking and basting, place the fish onto the plate. Into the pan on a medium to high heat, add more unsalted butter to the pan and heat until the butter stops making the sizzling sound, add the juice of half a lemon. And then add 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce and give the pan a swell to combine the sauce. Here we have the final dish. I've got to say, this was um, really enjoyable to make. I say Dover sole is quite expensive, so you can use cheaper cuts of fish like place or lemon sole. You can enjoy this with your family, or you can impress some guests maybe for a dinner party, and then you can bring out the Dover sole. It comes in at around 10 pounds. So 10 pounds being around 13 dollars, US dollars. It's got the lovely samphire here that bring much needed color to the dish lemon segments and then the burnt butter or the brown butter on top so let's dig into this let's just break into this okay. you can just see it falling off the bone you see that lovely oh it's very moist in the middle let's see so like i say it's a very firm fish let's take a bit of that itadakimasu So good. Got the lovely butter and lemon sauce, but the soy sauce brings a lovely umami, a lovely saltiness to the dish. It just comes off the bone very easily. The outside is gelatinous with the flour. It's got a lovely texture to it, really soft. The inside is moist. Put mushroom on there. Samphire. Then you've got the meat around the head, you can see the meat around the cheek, that's a tiny morsel, it's delicious. Let's put that onto the other fish. Mm. Fantastic. Samphire brings a slight crunch to the dish. Brings a sharp saltiness, and the shimeji are just one of my favourite mushrooms. Mm. And this is this is where you get a lot of the delicate meat around the edges. That is just full of flavour. Mm. This will be delicious with a bowl of rice. But today I'm just going to enjoy it like this. It's 
get one final bite. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be a big mouthful. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.